Unfit 2020, Donald Trump documentary full movie, Malcolm Nance, George Conley. I'm out of facts Mars, and this is a Liberalism is a Mental Disorder update. Okay, folks, this is a special update. Somebody put this on my chat group, and what I'm doing is I'm applying to this movie. I'm going to try to hold it under 10 minutes. No guarantees on that. The individual you're seeing right there is Malcolm Nance. Uh, not really sure who he is, he's, other than he's a Trump hater. And the other one I'm going to show you... I'll show you one or two others, like George Conley. Put this on hold. John Gart Gartner, Ph.D., author, psychologist. No, well, he's a psycho babbler. He had a big, uh, one of the biggest uh, parts in this movie. He's an obvious leftist. Okay, uh, here's George Conway, Conway and Conway's husband or ex-husband. I don't know if they divorced or not. I hope she did throw this bum out. So, we're going to get down nuts and bolts now. We got the introductions over. There's a whole bunch of them. Uh, on. Okay, this is uh, typical of this documentary. You have this cartoonish uh, image of Donald Trump. Totally disordered, the expiner in hell, and what have you. And I found that to be typical of this documentary. Um, most of it, I would say 90% of it, was personal attacks on Donald Trump. 90-95%. For most of the movie, they don't even say anything about his time in office. They're looking in the past, comparing him to Hitler which is a huge, huge defamation. Uh, the reason Hitler was able to come to power is he uh, was head of the... He worked his way up and cheated into the National Socialist German Workers' Party. In other words, Nazis. Uh, Trump is not a National Socialist. He's far from it. He's a populist, but he's not a National Socialist. National Socialism isn't that much different than uh, Communism. So, we have this cartoonish stuff, and they go through most of the movie with all the first uh, psycho babblers coming on and saying how bad the guy Donald Trump is. They, they went as far as to talk about how he plays his golf game as if that's relevant, which it is not. They made a uh, slam against his father, calling him a criminal. So we're going to take a look at something about that. Okay, off to our right here, notice that went for, was Fred Trump ever convicted and what comes up? Donald Trump. Oh, there's, okay. So Washington Compost did say uh, a couple things. It doesn't say he was ever convicted or jailed or anything, as near as I can tell on the right here. So we're going to say that, that part of that, this was uh, false. But we'll proceed to the, uh, video again. It's Trump and one of his silly hats or whatever. I don't really care about that. He was a showman. We knew that when we voted for him. 
We knew he was a playboy. That was not uh, anything unknown to any of us. So here they are suggesting that Trump supporters were rallying to support an, another Hitler and what have you. If you just take a look at how Hitler rose, it's totally different. He, Hitler wasn't even a German. A lot of people don't know this. He was an Austrian, not a German. He, he believed that Austria was a part of Germany, so they went in and they did the Anschluss and what have you. And, of course, he took over. But Donald Trump is not a natural socialist. And neither am I. And neither are most of his followers. Are there some national socialists who are going to follow Trump? I'm sure there are. It's not who follows you. It's what your intentions are and how you do your job that matters. Okay. I'll take a couple more glances. I'm not going to go too long on this. Here's Trump in one of his finer moments. I don't know who this woman is, but she's a nasty, vicious Trump hater. Yeah, she you know, is definitely infected with the infamous Trump derangement syndrome. Now, believe it or not, they went as far as talking about chimpanzees. Chimpanzees! They're animals! They don't have anything, they don't have precedence the way we do! They're animals! You people are out of your minds! You're completely, utterly mad. Totally, totally mad. And they're talking about chimpanzees, social structure and all this. I don't need to do this crap. That was a wasted section of this movie. They're animals. Okay, so my computer pulled a stunt. You know, they go back in history and they talk about how Reagan got along so well with uh, Gorbachev. It didn't escape my attention. That I didn't like that at all. But, you know, Donald Trump basically told... Putin, from what I understand, you go into Ukraine, Moscow is dust. You see, uh, what we have in there now won't do anything like that. He's too incompetent to uh, lead us. We don't have a leader. We have dictators behind the scenes, actually. Okay, Sheldon Solomon, Ph.D., I'm going to leave out some of the Rush Limbaugh stuff. I'm just going to call him a long-haired, maggot-infested, uh, old-style hippie. It's not what Rush would have called him. i got to be careful what I say. He is very annoying. And here's this jerk. Uh... So the crying the idea that we wanted to bring back the good old days. Oh, yeah, we do. We want this country strong. We want beef on our plates. And we want the borders sealed and the illegal aliens deported to their home countries. Starting with worst ones, the ones who have criminal records. And that's not where we're getting. We have an open border. This was made in 2020, uh, by the way, so. We can lose this grand experiment in democracy. Here we go again with democracy, democracy stuff. Uh, we don't have a democracy. We're supposed to have a representative republic. But you sons of bitches don't believe in that. You believe in a Marxist, Leninist, totalitarian government. That's what you want. Donald Trump was a gift. Now he's being persecuted for standing up for American values. You people who made this documentary, you have no American values. Well, I've made my statement. I'm out of facts of Mars. Thanks for watching.
God help us.